Why the Tetra Seed Awakening Procedures People of mediocre or even exceptional bent seek consolations for the chronic distresses of life, stress, by fulfillment of egoic motivations for successes and even victory, consolations to distract, counteract, or cover up the distresses. Others seek relief from distresses by exempting themselves from the world or relationships. The native or inherent state of the ground of being is without form, center, location, boundary, size, signal, or quality. It is the ground of being, everywhere and nowhere in particular, void of definition, but is not a state of annihilation, nor is it potentiality. It is the substance of all else, but most essentially, consciousness, the substance of space from which all things and persons arise, consolidate and move, inherently present, eternal. The Tetra Seed is the deep structure of all egos, whatever an ego's form or content may be. It is the structure of reality, but its nature is inherently void of definition. By assuming all conditional forms, it assumes definition temporarily and becomes the functions of ego and of all experience. The Tetra Seed is the universal identity of ego and of world because it is without identity of its own, but becomes all. Whatever strategies egos assume for the sake of consolation, fulfillment, success, and victory, or for relief by self-exemption from relationships, those strategies are temporary configurations of each individual self. Those strategies are artifacts of mind, not of inherent reality and are untrue. Because it is inherently void, the Tetra Seed is essentially one and the same as the formless ground of being. Because it temporarily assumes all forms and identities, it is essentially one with conditional reality. It is both and limited to neither. It is the channel between the unmanifest and the manifest, inherent in all living beings. Represented by concepts such as imagination, intention, memory, and attention, it is not those concepts. As an actuality, it is undefined intensity that can nevertheless be felt intuitively. It can be registered as such only when attention is free of ensnarement by the qualities of existence which otherwise distract from the bare feeling intuition of the Tetra Seed as the primal integrity. Concepts are only a means of drawing intuition wordlessly to what may only be intuited as the substantiality common to all matters of existence. Everything feels like a something there, regardless of the particulars. Some call it isness or I amness. When the Tetra Seed is intuited as primal integrity, the force of ego is revealed and intuited as a mere intensity of density, no longer as self. The confusion of ego identification with conditions, the grip of memory, ceases 
and ego loses its density, its form, and its status as an identity. The dreary, skin-encapsulated ego is freely witnessed, no longer identified with, while the formless ground of being is tacitly assumed as natural self. Then the distresses that motivate programs of fulfillment, success, and victory, or of self-exemption, no longer motivate. They dissolve and dissipate. And that awakening, the ground of being, in its native state, is spontaneously intuited as the native or inherent condition of self, formless and natural. Over time, this process of awakening becomes increasingly comprehensive. Because the Tetra Seed is the primal structure by which the unmanifest spontaneously forms into forms, intuition of the primal integrity gives rise to intelligence and capability, without the confusions of ensnarement in limiting conditions. The channel of imagination opens without or with progressively less and less ego noise, creatively giving rise to forms that are functionally clear, to coherent creativity rather than to arbitrary creative ego noise. Duality, which is a concept only, becomes less and less binding, but freely usable. That's why the Tetra Seed Awakening procedures are a viable means of both functional fulfillment and of release from ego, conceptual mind, and apparently binding conditions. That's why the Tetra Seed Awakening procedures are sufficient as a means of both fulfillment and of transcendence, supporting and seamlessly combining effectively with programs of fulfillment, success, and victory whenever they are followed, and making self-exemption unnecessary. Those seeking only one ego fulfillment, however idealistic, or two ego self-exemption, will overlook the Tetra Seed Awakening procedures because they involve ego transcendence rather than ego glorification, and true awakening from and transcendence of ego mind and its programs is not part of their program of seeking. So now I ask, why? P.S. The sense that what is written above is elusive, or that its meaning quickly evaporates is a sign of its truth, since it represents the channel between the manifest and the unmanifest. Be well, eat your vegetables, and never argue with a mime. Yours truly, Lawrence Gold <laughs>